Like first but, day, first day, man. How's it feel? Obviously, you guys been here for a while, but uh, obviously, first official day and uh, that feeling like. Yeah, it's good to see everybody. Uh, obviously, it's been a little longer off season than we're used to. Um, you know, a little longer from these guys, but it's good to see some old faces. Uh, Allard in particular, it's good to have him back, and uh, yeah, just excited to get going. How are you feeling um, physically? I know you're dealing kind of with a hamstring strain. We're all waiting here. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. Um, yeah, it was kind of an unfortunate situation, just kind of doing dry work before camp. It was actually the day before I drove down and uh, felt a little grab and decided we weren't going to push it here early in camp now that we have a full six weeks. And, um, yeah, hopefully should be getting back out there pretty soon. How do you describe what that is? is it disappointing, frustrating? What, what, what is the feeling when it's something like that happens, especially before this case? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a kick in the groin. Um, honestly, when it happened, I was, I was pretty worried. I was pretty scared because um, I know, you know, sometimes hamstrings can be a little temperamental, but uh, fortunately, it's, it's turned around pretty quick. So, uh, yeah, pretty frustrating, especially given you know, the early off season for me just to be able to get ready for this this spring training. Uh, and then coming down uh, with that was uh, not fun, but it's how it goes. And uh, we'll be uh, moving forward here pretty shortly. That happened in Calgary or was it? No, it was in Atlanta. Yeah, in Atlanta. yeah, left. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was uh, literally the day before I was about to drive down. I flew down the night before and just getting some stuff done. I, I played catch with O'Day out, out of the soccer field on Sunday and mm. went back home and tried to work on some stuff. And, yeah, just kind of felt a little bit and decided not to push it. You mentioned taking it easy. What's the process going forward now with having, you mentioned six weeks to try to get it all ready and going? Yeah, obviously it's going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit of a crunch time once we get back on the mound and stuff like that. But hopefully that's pretty, that's pretty soon here. We haven't really talked about that yet, but we're playing catch where we're keeping the arm going. So that won't take too long to come back. It's just going to be as soon as, you know, as soon as I'm running again and stuff like that, which again, shouldn't be too long from now. So um, once we get there, it'll be go time. But how's it feel now? It feels like the past couple years you weren't even really even thinking about trying to step onto the mound just the injury. So how does it feel now to be able to just be this close to be competing this spring? Yeah, it's great. I mean, obviously I'd, I'd been on the mound prior to camp, uh, kind of building up like I usually would. And uh, it was exciting to, to get to do that in, in hopes of just being out here to play baseball again. Uh, so when this kind of took me took me down, it was a little unfortunate. But again, it's, it's how it goes. So. Uh, I'm excited to get back out there and, and get in some games here in, uh, in hopefully a few weeks. You've been doing all this work to prepare for uh, through six months of this year and beyond this year. Do you say, is that the mindset, mindset you have to keep saying, doesn't matter if I'm ready in April or whenever? Absolutely. Yeah, I think that would be best case scenario, of course, is, you know, everything comes out really clean right away and we're off to the races. But obviously it's, it's a bit of a process. Um, you know, that's that's expectations for myself are always going to be the highest and I think understanding that wanting to be out there is is exactly where I need to be. It's time to compete, right? I, I need to go out there and, and play baseball. I uh, miss it, right? So um, that's number one, but I understand that this is a this is a process that takes a little while for some guys. You know, a lot of guys go through this at different times. I talked to Strider quite a bit and he went through a lot of this in uh, 2019, 2020. So, um, you know it is, and, and it'll get there one day, and I know it will. It's just a matter of keeping the nose down, keep keep working, and uh, see what happens. Hey, the rest of your winter, you did full off-season workouts, and everything's all good. Yeah, that's that's kind of the 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 real kick was that you know, as far as in my entire body, it felt probably the best it, it has in a long, long time. So, uh, you know, I've done some good work with with some pretty special people, and uh, gotten to a good point, and then kind of didn't get to show it off. Uh, early on in camp here, so uh, I'll have to put that in the in the back pocket and bring it out in a couple of weeks. When you are fully healthy, what can you show off? What will you be able to show? Um, yeah, actually, I don't know if show off was really the good word. I think mm -hmm. I'm trying to just kind of, again, do what I've been doing the last six months. I've changed a lot of stuff. Um, continue to try and make those changes while going out and compete. It's, it's kind of a tough balance, but um, yeah, I, I think just being able to go out there and, and run and float again like I used to look like an athlete, I think that's the biggest thing that I'm looking to, to show some of the strength staff, training staff that have kind of been there through through the tough times with me when, you know, they were they were watching me crutch around all the time. So um, that, that was going to be my, my only thing I wanted to show off was moving around like an athlete again. You say look like an athlete, but to mess up your hamstring, you got to be pretty an athlete to do that, right? Uh, I hope so. Yeah, I, I kind of probably just overstretched it a little bit in, in that position. It was kind of right as I was getting over my front leg um, on flat ground, which probably probably should build a mound. Uh, that would be that'd be a lot easier. But um, 
yeah, no, it, it was in a good place too. Like I said, it was just kind of unfortunate. It was probably too many, too many reps that night and being tired and yeah, just not knowing when to when to put it down. How much did those minor league reps that you got last year help you for everything that you're about to embark on, getting back on the mound and getting back to where you want to be? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, that, that was that was what I needed. We talked about that uh, when we started dealing with a couple issues, as I wanted to, to fight through those to be able to get innings last year because you know there are a lot of things competitively that. You don't necessarily forget about, but you forget about the intensity of being in competition, what it's like to make quick decisions on the fly, especially with the pitch clock in the minor leagues, which was good to feel. Yeah. You know, I'm not coming into a new situation in that as well. So, um, yeah, it, there was there was tons of things that were kind of good little reminders last year that are going to be good for being able to compete in spring this year. What have you kind of just learned about yourself, kind of through this grueling process of recovery, rehab, back and forth? I mean, it's not been easy for sure. No, I mean, I, I think you learn. Resilience, I think that's a big one, and, and I think everybody does at a certain point when they go through a lot of this stuff. Is you learn what you're really capable of doing on a daily basis when you have to, right? Like that's this this is my life. This is what I want to do, and um, you know the price the price to do that. I'll pay it over again if I have to. So I think you, you learn what it's like to just have to put your head down and work and, and put the day to day ahead of you know what you're looking forward to be doing and. A year from now, or even five years from now, I think it's it's important. So, um, yeah, learn just good good work on a daily basis adds up, and we'll see where we're at in uh, in a few weeks. No, you mentioned the pitch clock and obviously being down for a little bit. How do you continue to keep yourself mentally into it as far as getting your hamstring back, and then also you know trying to gauge where you're at with the pitch clock and trying to make sure you deal with that. Yeah, like I said, I got to pitch with it in AAA last year, which I actually think was a little more difficult because you didn't have pitch comms. So with runners on second, you had to go through a whole set of signs once, maybe twice if you shook off. Um, so I think a lot of things are actually going to be made a little easier in the big leagues. And I think it's going to be an adjustment period for everybody. So having been through that, I think I'm a little ahead of the game in, in some sense. You know, we saw some guys come up last year when, you know, when Tucker came up uh, at a certain point and was working extremely quickly. Uh, it was tougher on the hitters. So kind of looking forward to a lot of that. And uh, like I said, once we get this hamstring in, in a good place, and it's just business as usual and go let it rip. In the Michael name change, was that just simply someone asked you and, or not name change, yeah. but did your name or can you tell yeah, us Yeah, so that? yeah, I, I was always Michael to, to family and everybody who really knew me and that was kind of where I only really went with Mike because I'm not a huge fan of Mikey. That's kind of what it was in, in baseball. So um, I went with Mike, it just sounded more, you know, sports. But um, yeah, for, for a bunch of years, honestly, I'd been kind of Telling people I'd get my nameplate, try and get Michael on my nameplate and stuff like that. And then uh, Jared finally asked me if, if, you know, we wanted to make it official. And I said, yeah, you know, what the heck, let's, let's do it. It's fine. I, I didn't realize it was going to be such a big deal because it's, like it's not like a change, right? Like, I didn't change my name. It's just kind of what's on my birth certificate and that's kind of who and, and what I am. Awesome. Appreciate it. Yep. Seriously, thank you.